Welcome to Storm Riders Wheels with your host, Master Lou. Hey guys, it's Lou Storm Riders Wheels, and today I'm going to try to do a custom. I made this one, and as you may be able to see, the spray can didn't really work with the color, and it made it like really textury. So, I'm going to try to use a blowtorch on this one since I haven't got my airbrush yet. And I'm going to try to discolor the metal and see what it looks like. So let's go ahead out there and try it out. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is drill out the rivets. I have my dad doing this because I don't want to drill through my finger. And the casting we're going to customize today is the bone shaker. And this is actually not the uh, proper drill bit. We don't have the right drill bit size, so um, we're just gonna make do with what we've got. The drill bits that we bolt are actually the drill bits that you use to put everything back together. Right. They are way too long for this. I knew that would happen. That's why Look I what was we doing did. That. Um, I don't think we hurt the actual car. We just made a hole in the bottom. Yeah, we put a hole through the bottom. Do you want to do a different one? No. Okay, so this was only our second custom, but it put a hole in the bottom. And I don't think we're going to be able to use this. I don't even know how I'll drill that piece out. I think we still can. Just keep on trying. Again, it's the wrong size size drill bit for one yeah see i think it's going to keep sliding i hope not because yeah you just have to try to get that back out as much as possible so i guess if it turns out looking good we will have to get a base off another bone shaker yeah and maybe we just do it for like a custom to wear, make it crazy or something. But right now, we still have to tap that and, and get that back together. So. Right. All right, so. We got that all apart. We got this all taken apart. So the next thing we're going to have to do is take the paint off. Yeah. Because we don't want to burn the paint off. And uh, so let's well, go ahead and pause the video for now. And we'll come back whenever we get the stripper on here and take the paint off. Yep, be right back. Okay, so now we're gonna get all the paint off. Just a bit. We're gonna use this premium strip clean strip. We're gonna do it on this red bone shaker. It takes a couple of minutes to get it all off, but it doesn't take too long. I want to back up so it's a little bit more firm. There we go. Okay, there's it with all the foam on it. And then we're just going to use this blue toothbrush to get all of me. it off. But we're going to let it sit. And then we're going to use this blue toothbrush. We can actually see the paint starting to bubble up right now. Mm -hmm. Can you see that in the video? I think so. If we just do that, yeah. you can see that it all comes off. All right, so you go ahead and hold the camera. Can I do this part? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I'm just going to try to brush off as much as I can without touching it. Last time we did this, it didn't burn our fingers, but I don't want to risk it. Yeah, you're supposed to wear rubber gloves whenever you do this. Yes. You got a pair of pliers? Yes, yes. So I'm going to try to grab it. Pliers. That's not pliers. Those well, are calling them. Well, they Okay, that way it's a bit easier to get underneath and stuff. I'm going to try to grab it from this little right here. You dip it down on the phone. Okay. I'm going to make sure you don't fling that up. Right. You don't want to get paint stripper on the camera. 
Okay, so I think we just need to let it soak here for a few more minutes and uh, the rest of it's just gonna come right off. So we'll be right. right back. Okay guys, this is all the paint I could get off. We got a good bit off. There's just a little bit more inside. So I think we're gonna go ahead and torch it. Yeah, I think it should give us some different colors of blues and uh, just some weird Purples. colors. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna have to make sure we don't get it so hot that it melts it. Um, but yeah, it's this, an experiment, so we'll this, see what we get, right? This is probably made out of aluminum. Well, I hope it's not aluminum because aluminum will melt. like melt quick. So right. let's check it out and see. Okay, okay. guys, we're going to torch it. Do not try this at home. We are at the remains of the bone shaker may he rest in peace or in pieces and we are gonna make a pretty cool hot rod out of this one more than likely paint the base black and keep the interior chrome okay guys this is it for this video hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and ring that bell show us up from videos see you in the next video
Bye. Thank you for watching Storm Riders Wheels. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell.